It's winner takes all. Super League's first ever relegation grand final. Wakefield against Castleford. They haven't paid to get in, but they've got one of the best seats in the house. Castleford have travelled in their thousands. The Tigers hope against hope that perhaps they will not be going down, although suddenly they are the favourites to take the drop. People believe that the momentum is with the Wakefield Trinity Wildcats. Not only is it a match that will decide players, coaches and clubs' futures, it is the mother of all local derbies. Castleford and Wakefield separated by about five miles and they are here in numbers tonight to see exactly what is going to happen. Simply, just remember this, Castleford, they will be content with a point and Danny Nutley will go home to Australia content in the knowledge that he has saved the Castleford Tigers. Wakefield, they're behind the Castleford Tigers by a point in the table and so simply they have to win to survive. Michael Korkidas, Monty Beetham, Ben Jeffries, Jason Dimitriou, they have all got a huge responsibility on their shoulders. Now it's Castleford to kick off. Last week in the game against Salford, they short kick off no fewer than five times and they came up with the possession on four of those occasions. What will Danny Brough do here? He'll go short again. Can Castleford get the ball? Yes, they can. They mean business and that's the best way to do it. Very nervous moments there by Wakefield and that's a big hit. They've thrown it at each other already. Adam Watini. Here comes Danny Nutley. Nutley is greeted by three defenders. Korkidas was first in, Sam Ops was there, and so was Monty Beatham, and Nutley is hurt. Korkidas halted by the tackle from Danny Bruff. Adam Mutin again. Wakefield trying to get up ahead of steam. Castleman just trying to take the sting out of them. Sam Obst waits at dummy half and he finds Jamie Rooney. He's missed eight games this year, Rooney. Oh, that's high. I think Wakefield will take the two on offer here. Bit high from Richard Fletcher. Well, Casper has conceded more penalties than any other team in Super League, and you've just seen there are two examples. There's nothing malicious, it's just poor technique, really, aiming at the wrong part, and uh, it's probably going to cost his side some points. High shot on Jeffries. He's back on his feet and seems to be OK. Well, I'm sure that uh, Ben Jeffries not only will be recovering from that as quickly as possible, but he'll be sending the message out and say, hey, listen, if you see them coming for me, at least throw the dummy. Try to make that half break. John Keir will have said to his uh, team, if there is an opportunity for anything, we'll take it. Brian Noble, has that been your message this year to the Wigan players? It seems so, since you went there. No, not really. You look at the situation, you look at the clock, you look at how much pressure you're from the opposition, how many defenders have got in the line. There are lots of variables, Eddie. I think this is to settle the nerves. Uh, I, I would, at the start of the game, I probably would have played on there. Even though it's such a tight game and it's a cup and it's percentages, you know, I just think Castleford were crazy. They haven't defended their line yet. Wakefield needed to have a shot at them. So what you do is you weigh up how you think you're going and how dominant you think you are. And if you think you're going to stay there and score six points rather than two, you have a dig at that. Danny Ward, preparing for a second successive grand final 12 months ago. How times change for these players. You get the feeling that Castleford, they think that they've got the power in the forwards to get through this game. Beetham took a man out without the football, they're screaming for a penalty. Danny Brook with a dab to the in-goal area. Oh, it's going to be a try here. I think it is a try for Willie Manu. Solomon has made a right feel of that. Manu thought that it would be covered by Solomono, and for some unknown reason, I think he's missed it. The big second rower, David Solomono, should have really got to it. He spotted it well, gets his body to it, and then watch, he just completely misses it. So will, with Manu. Will that be given? I don't think so. Ian Ollerton is, is the, the video re referee. Who would have his job today? It's got to be controlled downward pressure. No, well. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> proved it'll probably be a try. 
It's amazing with the slow motion replay, and it looks to me as though Ian Ollerton is convinced. It'll come up TRY, I feel, and listen to the crowd. Try is given. Willie Manu gets the first try for the Castle of the Tigers. And there is pandemonium behind the sticks. Willie Manu, first try, the Tongan International, awesome against Harlequins two weeks ago. He made a winning debut for Castleford against Wigan in March, and he's got the first try of the night here in the relegation grand final. Well, in tense moments like that, the little kick through there by Danny Brough, and an awful mistake from David Solomona. He's, he's magic with the ball in his hand. Unfortunately, on that occasion, he couldn't get it into his hands. Danny Brough has added the extras, and Castleford Tigers lead by six points to two. This is a super tense game, isn't it? This is super, it's got everything, hasn't it? We're getting down the other end of the field and people are dropping the ball, and we've got breaks. Jeffries is away for Wakefield. Jeffries all the way for Wakefield. Fletcher, he fell over. Check whether he's actually scored in one section. I think he's also checking for a push on the player Fletcher. Back play. I reckon, well, he, he, I reckon he's definitely scored there. I reckon that is scored. Was there interference? There's certainly a slip. Danny Ward could be that one there. He was pulled back. back. This will be disallowed. There'll be pandemonium here. I saw Fletcher hit the deck, I wondered why. Now we know the reason. Yep. He's certainly pushed away, this will be no try. Well, did he run across the front path of Henderson? There is a collision, there's some involvement, but this is another massive decision. I he think didn't need to do it because there's no way anybody on that field was going to catch Ben Jeffries. I think it's no try. No try. There was interference in back play, and this is where it happened. Well, he made a superb break, didn't he? Couldn't get anywhere near to him, Danny Ward. And not only was he pushed, he was actually pulled back as well. He's gutted. Well, we are searching our memory banks up here because there was a try disallowed for something very similar to that in the past three or four weeks. The problem is, all of us up here haven't got much of a memory. <laughs> but I can remember something about something happening similar to that. There was a man chasing down, and he was impeded. Was it Salford? No. Anyway, whatever it was. Brian Noble thought he had the answer then. It's a penalty kick anyway to Castleford, and they are taking the shot at goal. They're the boot of Danny Brough. <laughs> it was London and Warrington, Eddie. You're right, it was. Well done, Brian. You were with us. And Warrington. Harlequins, Warrington. You're right. And Warrington had a late try chalked off. Bruff has missed. <laughs> Jeffries. That's a poor kick. It's collected by Michael Platt. Michael Platt has started this game brilliantly. Michael Platt. Oh, he's got a pass. He needed more support. There's only one player alongside him. Shenton was there. And Here goes Adam three. Fletcher. Here goes Adam Fletcher. Here's a try for Adam Fletcher of Castleford. It was a wonderful break from Michael Platt. And Wakefield were all watching. And Adam Fletcher just caught them dozing. And the man who came over here from Redcliffe in the Queensland Cup competition, he goes home after today. He might have just played a huge part in keeping Castleford in Super League next year. Very poor kick and chase, and from that run from Platt, the try scorer Fletcher could see that they were not in a line. What an effort this is. It's no good having a good kick. It wasn't a good one, went straight down the throat of this guy, but the chase was even worse. It's quick thinking. Adam Fletcher said, there's nobody there.
on that short line side. Is he happy or what? Maybe as happy as these guys. And boys and girls and women. She said. And this starts, doesn't it, with a kick return. Michael Platt dissected a New Zealand Test International and an ex-grand final player from Australia. And I'll tell you what, he made it look easy. Outstanding effort there from Castleford. Eighth try for Fletcher, none more important. The kick here now, can he curve it in? Not quite. The kick is waved away, but uh, Castleford have scored two tries and they lead by ten points to two. They're making big impact as well, they're getting over the advantage line. Fioso again. Monty Beaton stood firm, Wakefield, holding down. Wakefield defence and hanging back. Here's Danny Bruff, drop goal from Bruff. They'll take everything that's on offer tonight. Danny Bruff, one-pointer, 11-2. Ball off his foot. Two different Second styles. Move. This is Ned Cadditch. Forward battle from the Tigers. Gravy Ann, by the way, has just come on. He is Castleford's leading try scorer in the Super League this year with 14. But here they have been caught offside at the play the ball. And nine points adrift. I think Wakefield will run this, and they are with Monty beat them. Pretty smart move as well. Yeah, Keep them in the central position rather than kick to the yeah. tap. Just a quick tap. Here goes Caddix again. Oh, it's risky. Oh, it's come up for Evans. It's a try for Evans. It's a fluke for Evans. It came off a kick that was just a smack with the foot because Caddix had lost it going backwards. And the boot came out from someone and the ball shot into James Evans' arms and there was nobody ahead of him. It was Beetham's foot, I believe. James Evans with the try. And suddenly, James Evans has breathed a little bit of life into the Wakefield Challenge here. Talk about getting the rub of the green, sometimes you need it. Watch it just spin out, it goes anywhere. Beatham says, I can't bend. It was a superb kick right into the centre's arm. James Evans says, I'll have this. Desperation. What control with the foot. Well, it's an almost, almost embarrassed look on the face of James Evans, as if his side didn't really deserve it. Again, an important penalty there on the third tackle. He gave another set of possession to Wakefield, and Evans, you see all of his tries from close range, knows when he gets the ball, just where to go. And Jamie Rooney knows where those posts are. And suddenly, the nine points is eroded down to three. To be fair, I think Richard Silver would have been the First best pass. referee this year. By a country mile. This is uh, Latu, Tabita Latu. And that's Jeffries, and this is Solomona! Did he lose it? It wobbled. Touch judge says no, keep control. Tajalala to Jeffries, back it comes to Obst. And Obst looking one way and the other, trying to duck under the big man. He did lose it. Yep. It's Rooney. And Rooney will attack the line and then passes to nobody. And then it's on the deck again. And Dimitri did well and March did even better. And Dimitri steps out of the challenges and he scores Jason Dimitri. What an effort. What does that mean to John Keir? The referee wants everything checked around the play the ball area to see how the ball eventually arrived in Dimitrio's hands. Well, it was taken out, Evans was taken out anyway, so that'll be play on. Nothing wrong with that. Neat work from March. Neat little flick. But you don't get better than this, do you? Two of them had a go. No one decided to go for the leg. Nutley and Ward started it all off with poor defence, and this will be T.R. White. Dimitrio. Does he get the try for Wakefield? Yes, he does! And the Wildcats go wild! They're back in front. Well, the one thing a coach can never give a player is determination, and that's basically what this try came down to. And all the ball skipped around on the floor, but eventually it ended up with Jason Dimitriou. And his determination was what sealed this try. Just determined that whoever stopped got in front of him wasn't going to stop him. Last week we applauded. Here's the mistake by Solomona in the build-up to it. 
Definitely a knock on, Phil, and it has not been seen by the officials. There, Evans gets taken out of it. Watch for the little flick from March, but they had the numbers. They went high, did Ward, and then did Nutley. And by this time, the momentum was always going to take him over. Well, last week we were applauding Jason Dimitri for getting out of the in-goal area at Bradford. This end of the field has got over the try line in the right way. Fantastic effort there. You see he's scored nine tries for Wakefield this year. And again, so many of them due to sheer determination. And Rooney adds the extras. And suddenly Wakefield have gone from three points down to three points ahead. About to get the second half underway here. And uh, Wakefield will be alarmed to remember that on six occasions this year, they have surrendered half-time advantage and gone in as losers at the end of the day. Well, you can add to that as well. Castleford three times this year have come from behind at half-time to win games. Can they do it now when they're really under pressure? And here's my man who I've tipped here now to change this game, Danny Sculthorpe. Sculthorpe uh, rides the tackle or attempts to from Duncan McGilvery. And it's got to be a penalty. McGilvery was lying in the rut. Sculthorpe stood on him. Now, surely, Castleford will go for the two points courtesy of the boot of Danny Brough. I'm not so sure, I think they might just pump it right into the corner. Well, there you go, they have. Done. Yeah. I think if Brian Noble was the coach, the kicking tee would have been on the way. Here's Danny Ward, they're looking for six, never mind the two. To be fair, the Tigers haven't put a lot of pressure for the last 10 or 12 minutes of actual play time. Here's Schofield. Here is Danny Brough, now it's with Peter Lupton. And Lupton spins away from a challenge from David March. Terry Matteson watching anxiously on as Dion Bird gives the pass to Danny Nutley! He's got it down, it's try time! Captain's knock from Danny Nutley! And Nutley gives Castleford the lead again! Almost the win went out of Castleford season when Nutley said he was going back to Sydney at the end of this year. He said he didn't want to go home and leave them in the National Leagues. He said he wouldn't be letting them down. And Danny Nutley has just come up with his third try of the campaign. But it could be such a critical one. What a time to come up with a four-pointer. And the Brave have been rewarded. They could have gone for the two, they decided to dink it into the corner, and from that position, Nutley goes there. They were a little bit slow at Wakefield to get themselves sorted out. He got the speed and the momentum, and he plonks it down. Boy, is he happy. It was one of the shots of the year on Sky Sports in the last match at the jungle when Danny Nutley was up on his feet and bouncing and punching the air. That night, Castleford lost. Tonight, Danny Dudley has just nudged his side ahead. Sam Obst. Quick play of the ball, that was from Kevin Henderson. But well, there's little doubt, Eddie, that John Keane in the half-time talk at the Wakefield players would have said, let's go and do it for the injured Halpenny. Let's really give him a good lift. We know he's OK. It's not a serious injury at all. Jeffries, lovely ball on the inside to Rooney. Quick play the ball again to March, it's Jeffries. Fires the pass to Obst, there must be in here, Monty beat them! He gets up and scores! Is it a double movement? Oh, Ian Ollerton, over to you! Video referees! Is it a double movement by the skipper, Monty Beatham? Has Monty Beatham come up with a riposte to his opposite number? Has someone got hold of him? Has no. someone got hold of him? I think that you've... Danny Brough has not touched him. When he makes the impact, that's what the video referee will be looking at. Has Danny Brough got a hold of him? No, this will be given. This will be TRY time, and the Wakefield fans will go absolutely crackers. Brough couldn't get a fingertip to him. That's quick thinking from the captain. It's game on again. Nerves are jangling. Has Monty Beatham got a captain's try to follow on from Danny Nutley's? Ian Ollerton, what say you? Try to win the This game has got some twists and turns to come yet. <laughs> look at the contrasting pictures when we look at the two sets of supporters. 
the Wakefield Trinity Wildcats are dancing now. The Tigers are biting their fingernails. Well, I said earlier that if it was going to make any breaks, it would be out wide. And you could see they come off the line. And Danny Brough was just an inch from getting his fingers onto the back of the Wakefield captain. They went high, he bounced away. Look at that. Dyer came right off the whitewash to try to stop him. And Rooney here to try and maintain his 100% record with the boot, which he does. It's 20 points to 17. Goal line dropout to halfway and Ben Jeffries. Here comes Adam Watine, driving it straight at Lupton. It was McGoldrick who got the tackle in, though. Solomona, Jeffries, Jeffries, supporter eyes from Rooney. They have men wide. Henderson's one of the oh, first out it. That could have been it. That could have been the moment for Wakefield and Kevin yeah. Henderson Two. dropped it. I think you're right. I don't think the Tigers would have come back from that. What a step from Rooney. And then the fired pass. Too hard, too high, right into the chest of Henderson. I think Wakefield have got this ball back here, though. I think Gravy has it. come up with a mistake and Katic has swooped. Here is Korkidis. David March waits 20 metres away from the line. Here's Ben Jeffries. Willie Manu gets to him with Peter Lupton. Solomona, Henderson for Wakefield! They only delayed the inevitable when they forced the error a few seconds ago. And Kevin Henderson scores the try for Wakefield. That just might keep them in the Super League next year. Castleford can feel the trap door creaking underneath them. But Kevin Henderson, what a moment to score your first try of the season. And there is a look of dejection, and not only on the terraces, but also on the field in Castleford Colours. And Wakefield are coming home with a wet sail. It's an amazing game, Rugby League. Only seconds before this, Henderson saw the ball just hit his chest with the try line pegging. Castleford come up with the error. But not on this occasion is he going to lose control of it. And the sheer joy on this lad's face says it all. I may have made a boo-boo earlier, but look at me. My name is Henderson, and I could be the man that has sent not only the fans ecstatic, but has kept the Wakefield side in Super League. It's been billed all week, the £1 million game. And the cool dude just might, or Daddy Cool, isn't it? Daddy Cool. Daddy Cool just might be. be. They've just got to play basic Oops. rugby league football, get themselves into a good position, and ensure that the kick is solid. Somobs gets to his feet a little groggily. Solomona shaped to kick, a great offload. Good hands, here goes Henderson again. He has Jeffries with him. Dion Byrne manages to cut Ben Jeffries down. Quick play the ball on the last. Rooney drop goal. They'll take the one. They'll take the one. They'll stretch the lead to eight. Smart thinking, Jamie Rooney. Near the Castleford on the back foot there was no one even thinking about applying the pressure great execution the raised arm of Richard Silverwood has sent these fans ecstatic yet again quick thinking who can make an end for themselves there's no place for time wasters in rugby league if you want to, to get the scrum form the referee quickly will call time off once you have all your forwards in place if you are the side who wants possession eagerly. And that's what Richard Silverwood just did then for Castleford. 
Wakefield were plodding, Castleford were keen. Time off. No time for time wasters at Wakefield. Great ball, great run for Oso. Tongan international, this fellow. They're not done yet, Castleford. There, now then. He's in touch. Flag is up, Luke Dyer. Luke Dyer touch, touched it down. Castleford asking the referee, Mr. Silverwood, to go for the screen. And he has called time off, Mr. Silverwood. Well, he's certainly got it down. That, that is no doubt. Was he in the field of play? But did his foot hit the whitewash? That's what the video referee in Ollerton has to decide. Was it also touched by Dimitru? Yeah, his foot's on the line. No doubt about it. Is it a knock-on from Dimitru then? And head and ball to Kazakh from, from it, the scrum? It could very well be that. Because it looks as though it's definitely... He's, he's going to look now to see whether Dimitru did get a hand to this. He's definitely lunged at it, Dimitru. I think he's forced that ball, that's a knock-on. It will be head and feed, or it should be. No try. There's little doubt as far as I'm concerned. He wants to see there, and yes, I think he has knocked on. He's now seeing whether it went forward. I think it did. This is no time for rushing. Ian Orton <laughs> knows how important it is. Well, we know it's no try. We're trying to find here how to restart the match. He wants to see whether it is a has definite to knock on. deliberately he... gone for the ball. I think he has. I think this should be head and feet for the Tigers. And I think what we're seeing is Wakefield making half breaks, finding them from Solomon, a team coming up with passes, playing the ball quickly, which puts Jeffries on the front foot and Rooney on the front foot, enables them a kick, enables them to play. High kick again from Jeffries, the ball has bounced! It's a try for James Evans! It's celebration time for James Evans! Because Wakefield are going to survive! Castleford are on their way down! A high-raking kick from Rooney. Nobody really chased it with any conviction. And James Evans, the man who came to Wakefield from Huddersfield on loan, they went off and played in the Challenge Cup final. James Evans said, I'm going to stay here and try and help the Wakefield Trinity Wildcats to survive and the Castleford players the captain and the supporters know survive they will and Terry Matteson and company are on their way to the National League sadness etched on the faces and the fans of Castleford sheer delight not on that fellow's face it may be a smile on it'll the be, outside. It'll be a grimace now. Yeah, it's a grimace on the inside there. Evan just lifts the thumb. Bang. Plenty of height from Jeffries. Didn't get anywhere near it. Nowhere near it at all, Luke Dyer. Did he lose it in the lights? Who knows? Mr Evans isn't hanging around to find out. It seals it. And they know it. They talk about the great escape. Over the Pennines in Wigan, they played the song time and time again. But what has John Keir done to this side? Rooney misses with a kick. Wakefield are celebrating survival. Wakefield stay up. David March is Wakefield through and through. Castleford are heartbroken. And you have to feel for Terry Matheson. 19 points. It's usually more than enough, but not in 2006.